Hello, my name is Gonnaz and I am a yoga teacher and I also live with lymphedema. I've partnered up with the Lymphedema Support Network uh, and our aim is to create yoga programs suitable for people living with lymphedema or not. Lymphedema is a long-term condition and as with other chronic conditions, regular exercise and movement can help make you stronger, less anxious, and as you produce endorphins with your exercise, you can improve your mood and actually make you feel better. Regular movement helps maintain a good weight, keeps your joints flexible, and improves mobility. Before you undertake any new exercise regime, it's very important that you check with your GP or lymphedema practitioner that it is suitable for you in your individual circumstances and that you build up gradually. You should not experience any pain or increase in your swelling and should you do so, it's important that you stop and seek further advice. Studies have shown that muscle activity is very important when your lymphatic system is not working efficiently and any exercise or movement that you can do will be helpful in controlling your swelling especially when you also wear your compression. Yoga can be a particular benefit in lymphedema as it focuses not just on movement, but also on breathing and relaxation. Remember, any exercise regime needs to start with a period of warm up and a cool down afterwards. These videos have been designed to be helpful for those of you with swelling or at risk of developing it. They are simple and you do not have to have done yoga before you have a go. The ladies in all our films have or are at risk of developing lymphedema. Some regularly enjoy yoga and some are new to it. So we hope you enjoy these programs. Thank you. Standing at the front of your mat with the feet hip width apart, lift your toes up and spread them back down. And roll your shoulders up and back, opening up the chest cavity and let your palms face forward. Feeling tall spine. And connecting gently to your breath. Become aware of your breath. Become aware of the airflow in and out of your nostrils, letting go of any unnecessary tension. Place one hand on the abdomen and the other on your chest and breathe into the abdomen, grounding breath. As you start to notice your breath, start to even out your breath. Even inhale and exhale. Counting to count of four on the inhale, four on the exhale, smoothening out your breath. Slowly drawing the awareness within. Finding that one to one ratio of breath equal breath. Gently open your eyes, arms by the side of your body and inhale, raise your arms up and bend at the elbows and hold on to the back of your head. Just feel the lengthening in the armpits. Allow the elbows to draw up towards the ceiling, really rooting down into your feet, slight engagement of the pelvis, pelvic floor, engaging your abdominal muscles to protect your lower back. If the eyes are open, try and keep them soft and still to one point and continuing to connect to that breath and then exhaling your hands down. Inhale, raise your arms up. And as you exhale, take your right hand to the body. Inhale, lift your left arm up. And exhale, bow over to the right. Staying here, breathing into the side body. Breathing here.
taking your time. And gently coming back up, releasing your arm down and slowly lifting the opposite arm up and bowing over to the other side, really rooting down into your feet. You can look towards the floor for your neck or look forward, really deciding what is the best action for you right now. And gently come back, arms to the side body. Standing in your Tadasana mountain pose, strong, rooting your feet. Now take your leg back, right leg back. Inhale, raise your arms up and exhale, bend at the elbows. I'm going to move from here. As you exhale, bend the front knee, close the elbows. Inhale, open and expand the chest cavity. Exhale. Inhale, moving with the flow of your breath. Just keeping your breath and movement synced. Releasing, come back to center, Tadasana pose. Looking at your feet, make sure your feet are parallel. We're going to sit into a chair. So sinking into your heels, inhale, raise your arms up to the ceiling. Exhaling, standing tall. Inhale to sink. Exhaling to straighten your legs. Inhaling to sink. Exhale to straighten your leg. Inhale to sink. Exhale to straighten your leg. One more time. Inhale to sink. Exhale to straighten your legs. Back in our Tadasana mountain pose, hands onto the hips. Move your left leg back, right leg in the front. Coming back into the cactus arms. Drawing the elbows back, palms face forward, abdominal muscles engage. As you exhale, you close. Inhale, straighten legs and open the arms. Exhale, close the elbows, bend the front knee. Inhale, open. As you bend the front knee, try and have the knee over the ankle. As you straighten both sets of feet facing forward. Eyes to one point. Gently moving the body with the flow of your breath. Stepping your back foot forward, coming into your Tadasana pose. Hands onto your hips. Heel toe your feet out quite wide. Toes pointing out diagonally, toes and knees are in line with each other. And as you exhale, you squat down. Inhale to stand up. Turn your toes forward. And then exhale, come into a forward bend. Micro bend your knees. Inhale to come back up. As you exhale, turn your toes out and sink into your squat, working those legs, inhale to stand up, 
Toes forward, exhale, forward bend. Inhale to come up. Turn the toes out. Keep the torso tall. Exhale to sink. Inhale. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale to rise. Taking a hold of your elbows here. Just dangling here like a rag doll, letting the head go, no tension in the neck. Release the hands now to your shins. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, forward bend. Moving slowly, as if you're moving through honey. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale to come up halfway. Exhale to forward bend. And then hands onto your hips. And slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. Keep your chin tucked in towards the chest. Once your shoulders are stacked on top of your hips, lift your chin and make it level to the floor. And heel toe your feet so that your feet are underneath your hips. You're standing tall. Crown the head reaching towards the ceiling. And we're going to now inhale, raise our arms up. If you like, just keep your hands onto your hips if you're finding that your arms are starting to feel slightly tired. Exhaling forward, bending. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale to refold. Inhale, take the arms out to the side and come all the way up. Hands up towards the ceiling. Exhale, dive forward towards your legs. Inhale, come up halfway, micro bending at the knees all the time. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, sweep your arms out to the side. Reach up, find the length in the side body. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, refold. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. And exhale, your hands to your heart center. And staying here for a moment. Reconnecting to your breath. Smooth, even breath. Placing one hand on your abdomen, the other on your chest. Breathing into the hand that's on the belly. Grounding breath. Focusing your breath in the abdomen to ground you. And bringing your hands to prayer position next to your heart. And gently bowing to your heart. You're in a teacher.